Okay guys, we're with the Horizon Hobby P47D BL UMX uh, version 2 for me. This is one that my friend gave me that I fixed and we just took it out and maintained it and it didn't fly worth a crap for a couple of different reasons. One, I don't know if it's just worn out or if maybe the motor was never good to begin with. Um, maybe there's a little something wrong with the ESC. I can't tell. Um, I can't say for sure that the bearings are bad in here or if the prop is bad. I have to assume it's probably about right because it feels about right for thrust. So we'll just give you before and after. We're gonna try this on 3S and uh, if you wanna pause it, I'll get the batteries plugged. All right guys, this is on standard 2S configuration. <laughs> Alright guys, 3S. Hasn't shut off, I'm just putting the throttle up and down. That noise you're hearing is this plastic simulated motor vibrating against the foam. Feels way more powerful, guys. I mean, I, I just can't imagine that not working. Um, some guys have left their throttle at 100%. I might back mine off to 90 like I did on my other one because if you overcurrent on your plane, you're gonna be flying along and you're gonna have power, but it's just gonna shut off everything. Um, I was lucky with my J3 Cub today. I did the same thing and I'll show you what happened. Let's just show them on the J3 Cub since we got these batteries already. This is the adapter I built, guys, by the way. These are 1S batteries. I just basically took hot glue and formed connectors from here to there. These are in series, and that gives me a 3S simulation. They're still a high C rating, so it should be okay. You just have to be careful you get your color to color correct because it's not keyed the way it would be if it was the proper connector. And I'm sure that it's probably not. I mean, it's not, it's not anything more than just a test fixture. I mean, you could use it to fly with, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's real heavy. Okay, so I'm going back to the J3 Cub. Throttle cuts on for now until we get it plugged in. Now this is just gonna demonstrate to you guys what I was talking about. Sometimes the Horizon Hobby planes will not handle 3S. Sometimes they will. I don't know how to establish whether or not they will or won't. They appear to be using the same boards. Okay, so real quick, this has a heavier prop, so it's gonna be a little more torque load. That might be what's going on. Okay, so I'll just show you what goes. Whoops, throttle cuts off. back the throttle because I don't want to completely destroy my batteries. The guys, you get the idea. The difference is I'm up flying and then all of a sudden all I've got is, you know, dead stick landing scenario. Dead stick landing is kind of fun once in a while, but it's only fun when you can handle it. It seems to be working right now, but my expectation is it's not worth the risk of cutting off the connectors and getting burned. Literally, not necessarily figuratively. So anyway, my next step is to go ahead and take this connector. I'm gonna cut it off a ways back and then I'm gonna put on a JST, female connector, even though it's technically a male connector because it has pins in it. This has sockets, even though the whole overall connector is a socket. So this will then mate with that. It will power this plane on 3S. This is a 3S 180 milliamp, 25C through 40C discharge. So 25 current, uh, 25C regularly, and then 40 on demand, you know, for takeoffs or special current loading. And that will make um, this plane fly well. The other thing is you'll notice this battery, this is a factory slot. It fits just barely, but it's perfect. It holds on. So you can stick that in there and you don't have to do any mods to it. One drawback. You do have a relatively heavy balance charger lead. So just keeping those things in mind. And the smaller 180 milliamp hour compared to the 300 milliamp hour 
is not going to equate to a big difference in time. It might be a little bit less, but you're going to be more powerful, so you're not drawing as much as quick. So it's just kind of a, you know, a tick for tat when it comes to the weight. And if you do your Velcro on the side of the battery, then you can put it in so that the connectors are up and accessible. So anyway, that's that's our quick review. Um, I'll try to get, get you guys a flight video. Um, one of my one of my subscribers recommended that I take and cut off one of my e-flight ends and use that to plug this thing in. And that's a nice idea. The only difference is if you know you're always gonna be, if this thing flies on 3S, you're never gonna fly it on 2S again. Just take my word for it. I've made recourse for it, I've never done it. I've never gone back and flown another one on 2S. I may use it to you know, set something up or test the lights or something like that, but uh, for all practical purposes, you wanna use a 3S. If it runs 3S, you're gonna get a lot better performance and uh, you're just gonna like the plane a whole lot better. So if you burn through motors, so be it. If you get 200 flights out of it before you have a problem with the motor, that's life. You're probably gonna crash it at that time anyway. So thanks for watching guys. Hope that answers some of your questions and I will get you a flight video next time weather permits.